Hey guys, welcome back. History 1302. This is a uh, section six wrap up. Uh, I don't have my bright colorful shirts on anymore because we're going to talk about Calvin Coolidge. And I can almost assure you Calvin Coolidge did not own any Hawaiian shirts. So let's talk about Calvin Coolidge. Cal after uh, Warren Harding has has died of, of a heart attack, I guess. I'm not sure. They didn't do an autopsy. <clears throat> Calvin Coolidge comes in. Calvin is 51 years old. He's a Republican. He's a lawyer. He's out of Vermont. And Calvin Coolidge, guys, is an interesting guy because most of my students have never heard of him. And a lot of my students really like Calvin after they hear about him. So let's kind of talk about him. First of all, Calvin Coolidge was probably the last president we'll ever have that did not like to talk. He, uh, his name was Silent Cal. He just didn't care to talk. Very quiet little man. Uh, once he went to dinner with a lady, and the lady says, you know, I've got a, a bet that I can make you say more than uh, two, three words. And Calvin Coolidge looked at her, and he says, you lose. Never said nothing else to her. Uh, uh, one of the interesting things about Calvin Coolidge I've always thought is although he's this quiet little guy from Vermont, doesn't talk a lot, his wife, and I'm going to tell you something, Grace Ann Coolidge, and I've got a picture of her, and I don't think it really does the woman total justice. She was a beautiful woman, considered maybe one of the most beautifulest first ladies we've ever had. And she had a natural beauty. She wasn't a model. Actually, he met her. He was shaving one day, and he sees this girl walk by, and he reaches out the window. He's up tall. He says, hey, what's your name? She was a school teacher. She was with one of her friends. And she tells them, and you know, they meet. Well, we were shaving. It's kind of interesting because when actually Calvin Coolidge does not live very long. He will die around his 60s. And when he dies, believe it or not, he's in the bathroom shaving. It's always kind of one of those really odd things about him. Uh, one of the things Coolidge will do is he balances the budget. He finishes out Harding's term. He'll complete his term. He balances the budget out. Guys, he, I mean, think about that. Today, when we look at the national deficit, it's in the trillions. Coolidge, when he left office, we owed nothing. Now, how'd he do it? Well, this guy was the supreme penny pincher. Uh, he was, uh, I mean, Calvin Coolidge actually reduced the size of government as much as he could. He reduced cost. He controlled everything. Uh, and so he is kind of one of these guys he's forgotten about, uh, although he was born on the 4th of July, but he's actually a pretty good president. Uh, he is not a president, him and Warren Harding, the problem that they have, guys, when you study presidents, you you got, you know, after Woodrow Wilson, you've got the Great War, Woodrow Wilson, then you've got Warren Harding and Calvin Coolidge, and basically that will lead in, after Coolidge's term, we'll go into the Great Depression, Second War, Hoover, F, F, uh, FDR. But they're kind of forgotten about. I don't think Harding was that great of a president, although people have looked at him. They've said maybe he was. So I've given you Calvin Coolidge and Warren Harding. We've talked about both of them. Remember, this is the time the 19th Amendment is going to be passed. Women have the right to vote. You're still going to have racial issues. That's something I didn't touch on. But the South is still going to have racial issue. The Black Code turns into the Jim Crow laws. Uh... So the South is still going to have problems. Uh, the interesting thing about Calvin Coolidge, guys, is uh, that, you know, he they asked him to run again. He could have ran again. He wanted no part of it. Him and his wife and all her animals. By the way, she was a big animal person. Uh, at one point when they lived in an apartment, she had a pet mouse. But she actually will have a pet raccoon. And there's a picture of her and the raccoon. I forget, I think Roy the Raccoon, anyway. She had a pet raccoon. She loved animals. Uh, him and his wife and all their animals, right after the inauguration, will board a train and they leave the White House. They leave it to Hoover. And Hoover makes his famous statement that, you know, this is the greatest thing ever within 
eight months, the Great Depression hits. And, you know, the interesting thing is something I, that I always think of is a lot of people believe Calvin Coolidge knew that. They felt that Coolidge knew that the stock market had got risky, that he knew that sooner or later this thing was going to implode on itself and that the stock market would drop off. Coolidge never indicated that one way or another. He'd be one of the first presidents actually to write his autobiography. He just goes home and kind of drifts off. And through history, he's been kind of forgotten about. Although, if you do a Calvin Coolidge paper and I ask you to research him, you will, you will be impressed by it. See you then.